Property investing can feel like a minefield. The rules are constantly changing, mortgage rates have gone mental, and prices are close to an all-time high. So given all that, you might still be keen on the idea of property, but want to make sure that you're reducing your risk and investing in the safest place possible. So where are the safest places to invest? Well, there are a few pieces of data that the team and I constantly keep an eye on because they're the best way to predict safe long-term growth. And based on everything we know, there are three cities that stand out from the crowd. So let's find out where they are and why we are investing there. And the best way to explain all this is to look at it in reverse and start with what we consider more dangerous investment areas and explain why we aren't investing there. The first area we've excluded has always been seen as a holy grail for property investors. But in recent years, we've avoided it like the plague which, as it happens, started there. That's because property prices are disproportionately high in comparison to both the city's average income and the rent that a property will produce. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm talking about London. Something that we think about a lot is the probability of different outcomes, because no one knows for sure what will happen, but you can make a pretty good call about whether a location has more upside or more downside. In the case of London, there just isn't much upside, because until salaries and incomes increase, property prices can't really Really grow that much. And at the same time, their currently stretched valuations mean you have a higher risk of prices going down and losing you money, at least in the short term. So in London, you're making a big upfront investment because prices are higher than anywhere else in the country. And even if it works out, the potential gains won't be anything to write home about. We're also ruling out areas that have benefited from Londoners moving out of the capital as a result of the pandemic. Because during this time, thousands of people moved to quieter areas with more space, thinking that working from home was going to be the future. I'm talking about areas like Brighton, Cambridge, Bath and Norwich. But now the world's back to some kind of normality and most people are back in the office for at least part of the week. The migration has reversed and some people are returning to bigger cities to be closer to work. And from an investor's point of view, this pattern doesn't inspire a lot of hope. These areas have had their growth and they've done well, but now they've probably peaked in the short term at least. So again, there's currently more downside than upside. There's another area with more downside than upside, this time not because of prices, but due to the political landscape that's making life extremely difficult for landlords. In recent years, this government has introduced some very harsh measures when it comes to the rental sector, and they're planning more to come. As a result, there's just too much political uncertainty to justify an investment. And if you haven't already guessed, I'm talking about Scotland. We're also broadly ruling out anywhere rural. No offence to people from the countryside, but for investors, rural areas just aren't as safe as cities. The rural population is less dense, which is part of its appeal for a lifestyle style point of view. But from an investor's perspective, it means that the rental demand just isn't there in anywhere like the same way as it is in cities and popular commuter areas, where if you've got a quality property in a good area, strong rental demand is all but guaranteed. And I know that I'd much rather pick my next tenant from a selection of applicants rather than having to wait around for one option to come along. And finally, we're ruling out areas that do have a lot of upside, but that upside feels too far away because there just isn't any indication of improvements to either prices or rents yet. Included in that list are the likes of Middlesbrough, Newcastle and Hull. Now, this isn't to say that these areas are completely off the cards. My team is actually looking at some investments there right now. But does that mean that they are the safest? No. So now you've got a good idea of what we're not looking for. So where does that leave us? And what are the signs that we are looking for if the goal is to make the safest investment possible? Well, the first area that I would happily invest in has undergone a huge transformation in recent years, particularly within the city centre. Not long ago, no one was living there, but now there are literally tens of thousands of residents. This city is probably the safest place you can invest in right now, because it has a track record. It's performed extremely well since about 2016, leading the capital growth table almost every year. But there are no signs that it's gone too far. Of course, there are some overpriced developments, as there always are when cities are doing well. But on the whole, it's easy to find a good deal. On top of this, there's a huge undersupply of rental accommodation, which means you're never going to be short of a new tenant. So it's a win-win situation. You're getting into an area that's on the up, but you're doing so at a price point that still offers you a great return and stable future growth. And of course, the city I'm talking about is Manchester. Another great thing about Manchester is that if city centre apartments just aren't your thing, then you've got the whole of Greater Manchester to invest in, 
which has benefited from the ripple effect of the city centre's growth. We've actually made multiple investments in places like Stockport, Bolton and Wigan. All of these areas have great transport links to the city centre and allow you to access different types of property, different tenant types and normally come with the added benefit of a lower price point, which can make them more affordable for some investors. By the way, if you want more facts and figures about the best areas to invest, you can download our free property investment toolkit using the link in the description. Anyway, another great way to decide whether a city is safe to invest in is to look at the average wage in comparison to the cost of living. If locals are making good money but their outgoings are relatively low, you can have confidence that they'll comfortably be able to afford their rent. And things get even better when an area like this doesn't have enough properties to satisfy the demand. Because then you have thousands of high-income individuals to pick from so you can be very selective about who becomes your tenant. And that demand, combined with the relatively low rents compared to local incomes, gives room for rents and capital values to increase in the future. Now it's worth noting that we could have easily picked Nottingham here which we'd also consider safe because property prices are low, returns are high, affordability is pretty good and demand is high. But we've chosen a different city ahead of Nottingham because there's probably more upside than anywhere else in the UK right now due to the huge demand for quality housing. However, despite this demand, most investors just aren't looking at it which means that the prices are low and returns are high. The city I'm talking about is Nottingham's neighbour, Derby. What's more, the city centre is going through a regeneration similar to that of Manchester, albeit on a much smaller scale. It's starting to become a place where people actually live rather than just shop. And there are some very interesting developments, both being completed right now and just being built at the moment. On top of that, you've got big listed property companies like Granger pouring money into the city, which shows that they're also seeing the potential here. And because there's such an un the supply of quality rental homes. It means that if you have a good property in a good area, demand from tenants is off the charts. So all in all, it's a perfect place to invest safely. And the last city I would consider a particularly safe investment right now has hardly been talked about for the last decade, and I'd consider it a bit of a hidden gem. I actually know quite a few people who've been investing here for several years, and they're not going to thank me for talking about it here, so sorry. This place is a bit like that old Volkswagen that still drives well after 200,000 miles. It might not turn heads, but it's reliable, safe, and never stops going. In fact, for the 18 years that I've been in property, it's been a stable performer that's never set the world alight, but is consistently in the top 10 for capital growth. And the other big thing that this city has going for it is that the average property price is just £171,000 according to HomeTrack. That's even lower than places like Nottingham where the average price is £202,000, Leeds where it's £209,000 or Manchester where it's £220,000. So by investing now you're buying at such a low price point that again there's more upside than downside. Also it's economically strong. It's got a diverse range of employers and it's got a big student population. It ticks all those boxes and for that reason it goes straight to the top of this safe list. And before I reveal which city this is, it's worth noting that as with all cities, the same positives would attract me to the surrounding towns, but always driven by the ease and speed of the commute rather than sheer proximity. For example, in this case, Rotherham is pretty close. It's only a 15 minute drive away, which is great. Whereas Chesterfield looks like it's ages away, but it's actually only an 11 minute train journey. So there are plenty of surrounding places that are also worth considering. And if you know your geography, you'll know by now that I'm talking about Sheffield. But even if you invest in the safest area in the UK, you can still make a spectacularly bad investment if you don't know how to run the numbers correctly. So check out this video next, where I explain how to analyze any property deal in two minutes so you can make sure that your investment is as safe as possible.